So Marco Rubio was called out by Chris Wallace of Fox News for his obvious flip-flop on the Iraq war, and he handled it about as bad as he could have. This brings us back to Iraq and the question of the week, which is, given what we know now, would you have invaded Iraq back in 2003? As we all know, Jeb Bush had a tough time answering that this week. Here's what you've had to say. Was it a mistake to go to war in Iraq? No, I don't believe it was. The world is a better place because Saddam Hussein doesn't run Iraq. After finding out there were no weapons of mass destruction, would you, if you knew that, have been in favor of the Iraqi invasion? Well, not only would I not have been in favor of it, President Bush would not have been in favor of it. And he said so. Senator, isn't that a flip? Six weeks ago, it made sense to invade Iraq in 2003. Now you say it was a mistake. No, the two different questions. It was not a mistake. The president, based on, this is the way the real world works, the president, based on the information that was provided But she was him, saying, based yeah, on please, the information. The, the, no, no, but look. There's she was saying, based on the inf what we know now. Well, based on what we know now, a lot of them, based on what we know now, I wouldn't have, you know, thought Manny Pacquiao was going to beat uh, in, that, in, in that fight a couple know, of weeks ago. I know, but you, you were asked the same question, and you said it no, made it sense. Not the same, no, it was not the same question. The question was whether it was a mistake, and my answer was it's not a mistake. I still say it was not a mistake because the president was presented with intelligence that said Iraq had weapons of mass destruction. It was governed by a man who had committed atrocities in the past with weapons of mass but, destruction. But what she asked you was, was it a mistake to go to war with Iraq? It was not a mistake, given the fact that what the president knew at the time. No, she didn't say that. She just said, well, was it a mistake? That's not the same question. The question I was asked is, what you know now? Well, based on what we know now, I think everyone agrees. Was it that a mistake? Still... Was it a mistake to go to war with Iraq? A, two, it was, I'm, I'm asking you to. Yeah, I understand, but it's not the same question. But I'm asking. But that's the question I'm asking you. Was it a mistake? To it go was to... not a mistake for the president to decide to go into Iraq because at the time he was. I, told I'm not asking because... you that. I'm asking you. In hindsight, could... yes. well, the world is a better place because Saddam Hussein is not there. So, so was I it wouldn't a mistake characterize or not? it. But I don't understand the question you're asking. I'm asking you, president, knowing everything, as we no, sit here in 20. But that's 15, not the way presidents don't. A president cannot make a decision I, on I what understand. someone might know in the future. But I, that's what I'm asking you. Was it a mistake? It was not a mistake for the president to go into Iraq based on the information he was provided as president. Today, we know if, there, if, we, if the president had known that there were no weapons of mass destruction at the time, you still would have had to deal with Saddam Hussein. But the process would have been different. I doubt very seriously that the president would have gotten, for example, congressional approval to move forward with an invasion had they known there were no weapons of mass destruction. That does not mean he made the wrong decision. Because at the time he was presented with intelligence I, I, I understand that, that but... said there are weapons of mass destruction. He wasn't dealing with a Nobel Peace Prize winner. He was dealing with Saddam Hussein. And he made the right decision based on the information he had at that time. We've learned subsequently that that information was wrong. And my, my answer was, well, if at the time it would have been apparent that the intelligence was wrong, I don't think George Bush would have moved forward on the invasion, and he certainly wouldn't have had congressional approval. But presidents don't have the benefit of hindsight. You have to make difficult decisions based on the information that's before, before you at that moment. Okay, first of all, he keeps saying that Bush wouldn't have been in favor of the war knowing what we know now. Marco, that's not true. Somebody asked George Bush recently, Hey, should we have done Iraq? And he still said yes. He still said yes. So you can't say that because he just said the opposite of that. So that's point number one. Point number two is this. One of the questions Marco Rubio was asked is the following. Quote, was it a mistake to go to war in Iraq? That was one of the questions. Keep that in mind as I tell you the next question here. The other one was, quote, after finding out there were no weapons of mass destruction, would you have been in favor of the Iraqi invasion? Notice something there? That's the same question worded in two different ways. When he was asked, was it a mistake to go to war in Iraq? He was asked that question recently, a few weeks ago. So we already knew all that stuff. We already knew the disaster it was. So he was asked that question, and then he was also asked the question, after finding out there were no weapons of mass destruction, would you have been in favor of the Iraqi invasion? That's the same question! And one, to one of those questions, he answered, we should have done Iraq. To the other one, he said, we shouldn't have done Iraq. Uh, that makes no sense. Marco, that makes no sense. That's what we call a contradiction. You're saying the exact opposite thing when you are effectively asked the exact same question. So stop digging a deeper hole for yourself. That's the clearest contradiction I've ever seen. But you think if you talk more and you flap your fucking gums, that people just go, throw their hands up and go, oh, well, I guess he's making some kind of sense because he, his lips are still moving.